another video. I'm gonna be uh, starting the body work on the Honda. But I got some snow to clear off. I'm gonna get it started. And and then uh, kind of let it warm up, move it over. I gotta get the Lexus from the road to the driveway. So, uh, start up. She has never not started on me, besides when I had the grounding issue. Oh, Ronky. It's a cold start. It's pretty quiet. Still need to finish the exhaust. Hopefully my airlines aren't frozen. And look who shows up. <laughs> yeah, I think my tank's leaking or something. But. So I'll wipe her off quick. Grandma, she's from my third car. opposite because I when I wired them in never fixed it 243 and my roommate just got home but he's waiting for me to get this thing pulled in I can't ride lower else I'll fuck up my fenders I've done it too many times got it in no real problem so uh... get this in the garage and I'll kind of tell you guys what I got to go over. Well, I got the Lexus pulled in the driveway. Finally, it's been in the street for like pretty much all spring and neighbors are not happy about it because technically you're not allowed to have cars in the street, but it is off, off the street in like the grass, but they, they still give me some dirty looks for it. So got that moved. Um, the Honda is covered in snow. It's like ice. So I'll wipe it off, let it thaw. So i probably start the body work tomorrow, but um, when it thaws off tonight, I'll, I'll kind of give it a walk around and show you exactly what I need to do. There's, There's a few problem spots, a couple little Bondo needed areas. But uh, once I get that done, then I start the re-body work of this. I got to radius the rears some more, probably get new fenders for the front because those are radius like almost three inches. So it's been a couple days since I left off, but I'm gonna just kind of show you guys a little bit of what the body work I gotta do on the Honda before uh, it's prepped for paint. Um, so the hood has these two kind of like nice scratches. So I just sanded on that and then I rem remembered I needed to, to vlog it, I guess, cause I'm trying to do that again. So I'm gonna kind of grind those and fill them with Bondo or glaze maybe. The, paint, the bumper has a lot of like spider cracks it's a plastic bumper, and I have a feeling that it's gonna do that with the next paint, which kind of sucks, but, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna like sand it. You know, it's a $500 car with a free body kit, so I can't really expect perfection. Um, just trying to make it a nice, good looking, reliable daily. This wing has some paint reactions from when I painted in the summer. I didn't throw it on right away, but, Later on, I decided to. Very loose. I don't really care a whole lot about that. Um, another reaction over there. Not a whole lot. Like these dents. I don't even know if I'm going to film. Like that one, I'll probably fill. That, you can barely see it. I don't know if I will. Again, very cheap car. So uh, I'm going to get started sanding on the spots that need the Bondo work right now and try to get at least one layer of Bondo on tonight. Um, but uh, I'll get back to you in a few. All right, so I got some spots sanded. Um, I don't need to do any bondo there. I'm gonna do a little bit right there. A little bit right there. Um, that should be good. 
Again, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be better than the last time I painted it because I wanna make, I had a lot of problems and learning things. So got these two parts sanded. So I'm about to put a layer there. And uh, there is just some other un uneven spots. I don't have my extension cord, so I'm kind of just sanding what I can get. So I'll just take this wing off and sand that. The hood's good. The rear bumper is the same way. It's got a bunch of spider webs. You can't really see it. It's kind of dark over here. Um, I'm also kind of thinking about getting different screws and countersinking them. Just because this is like a layover body kit. It literally just goes over the stock bumper. But uh, yeah, I mean, tint's another thing. I got like cheap tint there, no tint, no tint, side windows tinted. So, but uh, let's uh, do a layer of Bondo on all these little parts here. All right, so um, hopefully my microphone sounds a little bit better. I've been taking the back of my phone case off because it's like one of those uh, life proof and I think that it's really drowning it out. And randomly during videos that you watch, you hear like it just pops open. I don't know why that is, but um, I'm gonna work on that a little better. So got a layer there, and it sort of got hard towards the end, so it did that. So obviously I'm gonna do more, fix those, those. I just did glaze. I'll probably regret it over here, but I'm not. This is not the last coat. I just mess with others. So I'm gonna next up. I'm gonna start sanding the the rear a little bit, or. I, Honestly, I'm just gonna get the 600 sandpaper out and just start sanding the body. And then once that dries, we'll uh, get to the next step. I'm honestly kind of lucky this this $500 car with some random parts that I got off of friends, some free, some paid, um, but not a lot of money in the end. Uh, but uh, pretty excited, like there's not a whole lot of body issues. Like there's those two dents, the little two ones in the door. Oh shoot, I forgot to do that one. Oh well. Um, but then the hood. But other than that, like all I gotta do is just smooth out the paint, and we'll be good for uh, for the next color. Clear the tails. I don't know if you saw that or not. Not a huge fan, but they definitely look better than, especially with the type of '90s stance I'm going with, or early 2000s, I guess one might say. All right, so I got uh, the roof and the trunk sanded down partially the way. It's about 10 o'clock at night, so I'm going to end it for the night. But I got that done. Roof sanded, and it's a lot smoother than it was. It's just a 500. I'm going to do 600 right before I paint it. And this is sanded a little bit. I still got the rough spot, but it's better than it was. Just getting late. I need the extension cord to sand anymore. I've just been doing the hand on here. But I'm trying to get that like smooth, smooth, so then the paint lays better. The problem with the first paint job, which you guys really didn't see, but I guess you saw those reactions. I just didn't prep well enough and and stuff like that. But I think that's gonna be up for the uh, for the night. Next video will be either more of the body work on this. I know it's kind of boring. I did get a new front lip for my Lexus. It's a JDM one from Japan, so. If not more body work, maybe a lip video of fitting it onto the Lexus. So uh, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.